Mike? There, is it yes? Yeah, buddy. This is this is Joy. Hi. Okay. You probably don't know me from Adam. Uh, no, I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> I, I do know an Adam. <laughs> sacrifice and um, you know, he's you know legendary in the teams here uh, and it was at that time I realized I had an opportunity to uh, provide something back to you his family um, and so they have something to present to you tonight that was uh, it was a piece of equipment that was John's um, and it had come into my possession um, a lot of our equipment is um, put back into service. Um, uh, once this by another service member, and so in the gear issue room, and they started issuing out the helmets, and all our helmets, um, they're all identical, right? So we put our names in them, they're written in Sharpie. And when I looked in that helmet, it said John Tomlinson. Um, and I knew at that time, uh, you know, I was get rid of that helmet. Um, because I knew who it belonged to and what that meant. Um, and it wasn't until I was out there hunting with those guys that I realized I had an opportunity to, to put that helmet back in your hands and place it belongs. Um, normally, we wouldn't be able to do that because it's a piece of you know military equipment, but that model's since been discontinued, and so now we have the opportunity to, to give it back to you. Um, and I know that's, that's where it belongs. And uh, while I had it, um, I, I used that helmet on two deployments to Afghanistan, a deployment to Somalia, uh, and another deployment down to South America. And uh, summer 2021 is when we were out there, and I realized, um, like I said, we had the opportunity to, to present that helmet to you. And so just wanted to say, you know, thank you for um, all the events that you guys do and put on to to help service members and you know to remember um and that's that's the best way we can honor their legacy and so uh without further ado wanted to to present you with john's helmet and uh and just say thank you i don't even know what to say you have no idea how much this means to me uh, and thank you for what you do Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, it, it, it's our pleasure to serve, and it, it, it means the world to, to see families and uh, communities that put so much effort into into supporting that, and uh, you know, remembering those that are past and uh, present, and then all those that are to come. So it's the least I can do. I mean, that's what John would want. He always told Mom that if Mom went crazy at something ever happened to him, that he'd come back and haunt her. So we made sure that we uh, always honored his sacrifice and made something good come out of it. So um, thank you. I will cherish this greatly. Well, it couldn't it couldn't end up in a better spot. And I was at the point I was like, I don't know what to do with this, and I didn't know how to get a hold of anybody that uh, you know had connection out to you guys. And it wasn't until I went on that Purple Heart tour uh, hunt that I realized, um, you know, it, things have a way of, you know, if they're meant to be, they're meant to be, and this is one of those. Yeah, well, thank you very, very much. I will cherish this, always. Well, you're very, I'm, I'm beyond ecstatic that, that you guys have it now. Thank you. Uh, Dennis, thank you guys for providing that opportunity. Hey, thank you, Mike. You made me cry again. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, you know, since I'm back here myself, so. Yeah, uh, you, you kept it together better than I would, buddy. We'll, uh, we'll see you out there in a month, give or take. <laughs> 